free planning for building a high performance home on a budget. Hey guys, I'm Scott True with Demora Homes. This is episode three of my series of about building a high performance home on a budget. Uh, I want to keep this video uh, super short because um, in, in terms of the way that I pre-plan, there's not a whole lot to talk about, um, but it is still very important, uh, which is why I'm doing the video in the series. So um, this is my checklist. Uh, obviously, uh, your checklist could look very different. Uh, keep in mind, I am in Bastrop County in Texas. Climate Zone 2, uh, in case you didn't already know, that it obviously is going to affect the way we build. Um, but here in this county, there is no code enforcement, believe it or not. Um, and there are <laughs> some weird weird things going on here because of that. Um, but what it means for me, I'm, of course, I'm going to still follow code and um, build really well. Um, but what that does mean for me is that I'm not necessarily having to present engineered uh, plans and, and I'm not having to engineer everything, um, especially like framing plans uh, for a simple home. Um, so yeah, so keep that in mind as you look at my pre-planning checklist. Again, yours could is probably going to be different depending on what's needed in your area. So first thing, um, by the way, these are all the things that I try to plan before we even break ground. First thing is the slab. Um, all of our slabs are engineered, um, so that's one thing I, I do get engineered. Um, but with that, I just try to make sure that that engineering is complete and it's all printed out and, and ready, uh, for the concrete guys to look at and get started. Um, every home that we do, I make a home info sheet. My home info sheet is a one page sheet that has all of the basic details, um, for that home. Um, such as square feet, how big is the living area? Um, because, you know, as I have my subcontractors show up, they're going to ask these questions. I don't memorize it for, for every home. So I have a kind of a cheat sheet that I can quickly answer questions. Um, you know, on that uh, home info sheet, I state what my insulation strategy is, um, what the siding is, which way the house faces what my HVAC plan is, what windows are we going to put on the house, stuff like that. So it's a quick reference sheet. It comes in handy very much. Uh, next thing is the framing plan. Um, so on a very simple spec home, this is not something we get engineered, um, but we do follow code. And so we print out the plan we have you know, an AutoCAD program where we can just print out the floor plan and the elevations and all that. We site built, we site build all the, uh, the roof. Um, and so with the floor plan and elevations, um, we can figure everything out from there. I do look up in the code tables, um, what kind of headers we need and, and what kind of, uh, beams we need to span across large areas. So I look all that up. Most of the time that stuff is memorized, um, especially by the framers that do it over and over. But I still look it up. I still write it down um, because I want to avoid as many questions as possible as we start framing. Okay, so after the framing plan, headers, joists, and beams, all that, um, I come up with the insulation strategy um, on most of my spec homes, it's going to be the same, but some vary. Um, some I want to kind of step up my game and do a little bit more. Um, but whatever that strategy is, I write it down, um, send it off uh, for a quote, and I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Everyone has the heads up. Um, next thing is the, the HVAC plan. Or, ma sorry, Manual J first. So usually... Um, I'll go ahead and get the manual J done. And so that we know, you know, what, what, what is the load of the house? Um, 
And then from there, we'll do the manual S. It's not written here, but we'll go ahead and do the manual S and then the manual D. So, which is the selecting of the equipment and then the duct design. So we'll get all that done. And so before we build, we know um, what machine we're going to put in there, how it's designed, what's going where. Um, next thing that I pre-plan is penetrations. Um, so with this new way that I'm uh, building, it's not totally new. Um, so in the last video, I mentioned that um, typically we will um, do the rough ends, flash everything, and then put siding on. But these three uh, specs that I'm working on now, we're actually putting the siding on first, and I'm going to show you guys how to access the sheathing so that you can still flash everything. Um, it's not totally new. I've done it before. Um, and I'm going to, I'm doing it again now, right? Uh, this time my decision has to do with, um, the rope, the way that the rain screen is established. Um, but that's the way we're doing it. And, uh, we're going to get all, we're going to get more into that when the time comes. But what's important here is that I know where the penetrations are going to be way ahead of time. Um, so that I know where to put the mounting blocks. I know where to leave a piece of siding off, for example, um, for ducts or uh, vents or, you know, the HVAC or whatever. Um, so I've got to be ready for all, all of that early on. And then inventory. Um, a lot of the products we use on our homes, you cannot just go into Home Depot or, or even the local lumber yard and get these products. So I have to really think through all of the products that we're going to use, like the SIGA tapes, um, some of the flashing pieces, um, the ERV, for example. I, or, I order that all uh, myself online, make a bear damper. Um, so I go through the whole house um, in terms of uh, special materials. Um, if it's not special, like something we can get at a local store, I don't necessarily um, get that. But anything that's special, I make a note of it. I make sure we have it ahead of time. Um, so I check all these things off and so that um, when we get ready to build, we can move fast. I've minimized the questions. Um, I've got things ready to go, so I'm not having to run around and get stuff. And um, like I said, there's not a whole lot uh, to pre-planning, um, especially here, the way that we build these simple homes. Obviously, when I'm building a complex, I mean, I have some complex uh, customs. I got to spend six months pre-planning. Um, that's a whole different thing. But on a simple spec, this is a quick and easy. Um, but even though it's quick and easy, it's still a very important step that we take. So that's it, guys. That's pre-planning. Um, I will see you next time on Scott True Builds.